So we're going to look at my favourite, or one of my favourite uh, programming problems, the British traffic light system. Sounds a really weird one, but actually I think it raises some really interesting issues. So here's my first go at it. So <clears throat> when clicked, uh, I had two buttons, well, effectively four buttons, <clears throat> basically turning red on and off. So button three and button four, based on times. So switch it on, stays on for two seconds. Then button four happens, which is it goes black, does that for two seconds and goes round. And we keep getting this thing, these things happening. So let's try the amber. Turn it off. On. So, so one second off. On. On. Off. On. Go around that like that. And then green. Off for two seconds, on for one second, and off one second. So I'm just getting four seconds of action going on here. All the lights, all the combinations are on for one second each. So it's fine initially, you know, it trots through. So this is the British traffic light system, or an approximation of it anyway. Well, what we start to see is the timing start going out a little bit. <clears throat> if we keep going on, it eventually, the sequence starts, I guess you see it's sort of happening a little bit here. They're not synchronized. They've all got different timings. They've all got four seconds of action, but they're starting differently. There's a time, some are keeping the light on for longer. This action of on and off, light, turning the lights on and off, or changing, in this case, changing the costumes on and off, is actually affecting the results. And it's gone wrong now. So we've got an issue. One way around it was this. is to move the control centrally, if you like. So, similar things going on here. <coughs> We've got when I receive, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. So when I receive R, button three. When I receive RA, button three. When I receive G, button four. When I receive A, button 4, <coughs> this is for the red, so red, button 3 is the red light if you like, well, I do like, and we're getting, it stays on for red, it stays on for red and amber, but it's off for green and for amber alone, and similarly can do the same for the amber. It's off for the red, that's what button four means. Button two, just to show it, is actually the amber light. So it's on for that one, it's on for that one, and off for that, and similarly with green. The 
the difference is, is within the stage. When clicked, it does these broadcasts. <coughs> so it broadcasts red, wait for one second, broadcasts amber for one second, and so on. So when it receives that, it does whatever the red, the R is set up to do in each one of these. So for this one, it would turn it on, off in this one, and off in this one, and so on. <coughs> so we're actually getting more control. The sequence isn't based on what is happening with a particular set of lights. <coughs> it's controlled by a central control. So we don't get the variation that we saw in the previous one. <coughs> 